All right, friends, we're gonna draw ourselves when we grow up as a community helper. So step one is to look through this worksheet and see if there are any community helpers that you feel like speak to you. I think if I got to be another type of community helper, I would be a baker. And here's a picture of a baker. You can see he's wearing a baker's hat. There's a cupcake. So what I'm gonna do is start by drawing me. I'm going to make a circle for my head. I'm using a Sharpie marker. These are permanent markers. If you get one and it doesn't draw nice and dark black, come trade. I'm gonna make two eyes, an oval with a circle in the middle. Now I'm gonna make my nose, kind of just like a macaroni noodle. I'm gonna make my mouth. I'm smiling because I'm a happy baker. I'm gonna make my eyebrows and my ears. Now I'm gonna turn the page and look at the things that would make me really look like a baker. I have hair, so I'm going to draw the outline of my hair. And bakers wear those special hats, so I'm gonna draw that hat. I'm gonna draw my hair coming down the other side, and I'm gonna draw my neck. My neck is like a square or a rectangle, and my shoulders. I'm gonna put an apron on me. Maybe I'll even write chef, C-H-E-F. That's a fancy word to say cook or maybe a baker. I'm gonna make the ground behind me and maybe I'll make it look like it's a kitchen where here's a table and there is a cake sitting on the table. Now you can make yourself any kind of community helper you would like. Over here, I'll make a sink so I can wash my dishes. And then when I'm done, I'm going to color to make it look like me. When I'm doing the coloring, I wanna choose colors that actually look like me. So I can flip my paper to the back and test it out, color a little bit, and then put my skin next to it to see if it actually matches me. I think that one's pretty good. I'm gonna color my skin back and forth, and I'm staying off my eyes. I don't wanna go on my eyes because if I do, then they won't look like my eye color. My eye color is blue. Your eye color might be brown, it might be blue, it might be green, but you're going to color. And then switch when you get to your eyes. When you do the eyes, only the circle part has color. There's white around that part. And then I'm gonna color my outfit. I'm gonna have a purple shirt. Yours can be whatever color you like and you'll keep working coloring until your paper is totally full of color. When I do my hair color, I wanna make it actually match my hair. My hair is yellowish brown, so I like to go like this. I color with one color, and then I go over top. I do yellow, and then I do some brown on top because it's kind of an in-between color. And I'm really trying to fill all of the white with color. Unless something actually is white, like the baker's hat, maybe I'll leave that white because in real life, that generally is actually black, or I'm sorry, white. So I'll time lapse you while I finish up. While I color my last area, I wanted to show you how I can color around something. I wanna make this wall here an orangish red. So when I color, I'm going around things I've already colored. If I went on top, I would be coloring my hat. And I told you I want my hat to stay white. So I'm going around it and I can even turn my paper and I'm kind of tracing around the outline of what I don't want to be colored and then filling. So I'm gonna go around that area there, trace around it and fill. When I'm coloring, it looks nice if I move my crayon in the same direction. That way my lines look nice and neat. Now I have a picture of myself as a community helper, a baker in this case, but yours might be a police officer or a firefighter. I'm excited to see what you wanna be when you grow up.